Hi there, Cancer, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of April the 29th through to May the 5th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Cancer. First up, we have the Ten of Swords in the reverse position, followed then by the Ten of Cups upright. And next, we have the Seven of Wands reversed, followed then by the Six of Pentacles in the upright. And lastly, we have the Two of Swords upright. So I'm going to go ahead and interpret this read for you guys. First of all, Cancer, for your overall energy, you have that of the Ten of Swords in the reverse position. I prefer to see this energy reversed as opposed to upright. When it's upright, this can represent sort of like the last straw where we're feeling the uh, the end of a situation where we just kind of putting our foot down and saying no more to this situation. It's come to its head and tens represent endings and there will be no more chances for this situation or this person, etc. When the card is inverted, however, this can represent uh, feeling the relief of that. Maybe some of you did um, actually undergo a Ten of Swords in the upright moment and now you're starting to heal from that situation. You're starting to feel the relief of it. So that's very good energy. Coming right off the hop, we have the Ten of Cups in the upright position. The Ten of Cups represents that sort of heightened, ultimate emotional experience where we're feeling really, really good on the emotional front. This can sometimes point to getting together with family, friends, um, having a wonderful, wonderful experience and feeling really, really happy and on the emotional front. It can be due to maybe getting together with a uh, family for a, a family barbecue or a family reunion or something like that. For others of you, it could just represent some a lot of harmony going on in the home. Maybe everybody's just sort of getting along now and things. there's peace happening and you're feeling really good on the emotional front. It's paired up with the Seven of Wands in the reverse position. Again, energy I prefer to see inverted as opposed to upright. When it's upright, this can represent a little bit of defensive energy where we're feeling protective of ourselves, of our privacy, protective of someone else. When the card is inverted like this, we are coming out of that protectiveness. We don't feel so um, so much a need to explain ourselves or protect ourselves from um, people or or situations we're sort of feeling like we can relax a little bit no need to be so tense well that's really good maybe some of you were worried about a family get-together or something like that and it turned out really good and you're feeling like oh I don't have to be on the defense about this situation then moving towards the weekend we have the energies of the six of Pentacles and the upright six of Pentacles is fair and balanced uh, energy this is reciprocity equal work for equal pay kind of energy very lovely I do like the energy of the six of Pentacles um, this can be representative of also generosity, say if you, some of you are looking to apply for a loan or a mortgage or something like that, a car loan, it could be that the uh, bank approves you. For others of you, this could be just representative of you uh, being generous towards somebody else. Maybe someone needs your assistant, needs your help, and you're there and you're happy to help. Cancers usually are very helpful with loved ones and stuff. So very nice energy uh, for others of you. If it's representing a relationship, it could be the fairness and balance and the equality comes back into the relationship. And the last card you have up is two of swords in the upright position. This is a bit of a stalemate. This is when we're trying to decide whether to go right, to go left. We don't know what to do. We're just feeling like we don't have enough information. We kind of feel that we need to get a little bit more information in order to make an informed decision. That's what the Two of Swords is about. So it could be at the end of the week in some situation, could be a relationship, could be your job situation or family situation. There's, there's a need to uh, sort of weigh things up with the Two of Swords. It's sort of, I hate to leave you with a cliffhanger here, uh, Cancer, but that's what it looks like. You just need to make a decision about something and uh, again, it's going to be different for all of you because it's just a general read. But I hope this reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you next week. Bye-bye for now.